death is very likely the single best invention of life. It's life's change agent. It clears out the old to make way for the new. Right now, the new is you. But someday, not too long from now, you will gradually become the old and be cleared away. I uh, started boxing at 17 and uh, was doing a bit of kickboxing before then. And um, I just prefer stuff with more like hand-to-hand -hand combat. Straight away, like I just loved it with the sparring and whatnot. It was great, so yeah. started in November of, um, I think it was 2010, and um, I got a letter through for the post saying um, we were on the talent scheme, ta talent pool, and they said this can open up opportunities for other things, and then they said, um, like in another letter, would you like to train full time at City College? It's like a high performance training centre, it's one of six up and down the country. And I thought, yeah, you know, it's a great opportunity, Might, you know, to be training full time is amazing because I was doing roofing before I got picked to go on this course and um, that was going to be my career just you know five days a week on a roof and you know to be honest it wasn't really my passion so this has allowed me to follow my passion and to train full time and do what I want to do so it's great. University of East London, um, find my feet, just basically get settled in. And um, medium term is to be a professional, have five professional fights, get them under my belt. Um, obviously, learn the tricks of the trade as a professional, and hopefully be good at it. And then um, uh, long term is to be a world champion. Um, every day is pretty much two. Two, uh, two to three training sessions a day, well sometimes one. Um, it, it can be like a run in the morning, then go to college, do like a technical or tactical session or even like a physical one with uh, lots of like, weights and physical training. to the boxing gym in the evening at my club, Morskoom uh, Amateur Boxing Club and um, do some more training there like sparring or whatever so I'm always preparing, I'm always thinking about it, I'm, like my diet as well, I uh, have to eat a lot of like healthy foods and stuff um, so it's pretty much an ongoing thing all the time, I'm always thinking about it, I'm always thinking about how much sleep I'm getting, if I'm getting enough um, I have to adapt like my training sessions, you know, if, like, if I do a weights one on one day then maybe I might have to sacrifice a run as a result if I'm doing loads of strength training. Or if I feel a little bit ill or a little bit tired or whatever, then I've got to kind of take it back a notch and just see how my body feels. So it's, it's all about just um, taking each day one at a time and uh, just training as hard as I possibly can because uh, I want to be the best I can be. And um, I don't have any regrets when I look back on my life and say, oh, could I have done more? Could have, would have, could have. I don't want to be one of them people. So I'm just... Um, I'm enjoying it, I'm loving it, and uh, I'm just being the best I can be. Don't be trapped by dogma, which is living with the results of other people's thinking. Don't let the noise of others' opinions drown out your own inner voice. And most important, have the courage to follow your heart and intuition. They somehow already know what you truly want to become. Everything else is secondary. At the moment, we've discovered that sometimes I come a bit square, like my shoulders come forward, and in my last fight I did that, and 
you know, it didn't look very good. It didn't yeah. look good at all. So we've been working on just getting my shoulders around, twisting my shoulder through the punches, and um, making the jab a bit more sturdy rather than just flicking it. It's got to be like a stronger, like twist the shoulder through, the hips, the shoulders. And it's just basic, really. It's just basic long shots and the odd. Going to the gym, 